Preparation Step 1 After patient is intubated, select proper size neobar by using neobar measuring tape strip provided. Place mid line of strip at nasal septum and wrap to ear. Color that falls over opening of ear canal corresponds to correct neobar size. Note, if unsure between two sizes, try smaller size first. Preparation Step 2 To ensure proper fit, position neobar across center of mouth between upper and lower lips. Neobar should not contact lips. Hydrocolloid tabs must be just in front of ear. Preparation Step 3 Clean and dry skin on cheeks, for hospital protocol. Note, it is important for skin to be as clean and dry as possible. Hydrocolloid adhesive tabs will not adhere properly to moist skin or hair. Oils and lotions will adversely affect adhesion. Do not use alcohol. Application Step 1 before removing plastic liners, hydrocolloid adhesive tabs must be actively warmed. Warming techniques include, hold between the palms of your hands for at least 60 seconds, hold near a radiant warmer for 10 to 15 seconds, or hold against a chemical heel warmer for 10 to 15 seconds. Application Step 2. Peel and discard plastic liners. Apply hydrocolloid adhesive tabs in front of ear on bone and hold in place for 60 seconds to ensure proper adhesion. Note. Ensure ET tube is below platform to reduce pressure on palate or gums. Application. Step 3. Wrap half an inch, 12.5 millimeters, white or cloth tape, completely around Neo bar platform first, then continue taping around both platform and ET tube. Removal Step 1 Replace Neobar every 5 days or per hospital protocol, whichever is sooner. Step 2 Unwrap tape to separate ET tube from Neobar platform. Removal Step 3 Saturate tabs with water or saline Removal Step 4 Slowly peel hydrocolloid adhesive tabs away from skin, as you swab with water or saline 